Hi, welcome to Van Life China. We are Alvin and Lucy. After trying this camper van for short camping trips, we realized that we need some upgrades to make it a comfy full-time camper van. In this video, we will share you the upgrades we did before we start our Indonesia road trip. Number one, futon. Sleeping on an inflatable bed in a tent is okay, but for long term, we need a more comfortable bed. So we bought a futon that perfectly fits the width of the car. We also bought the bed sheet for the futon. The bed sheet has a zipper, so it's very practical to use. We can fold the futon and the bed sheet is still nicely attached to it. We cover the futon with two layers of bed sheet, so we have one extra when the other one is washed. We double it so it doesn't take storage on our drawers. Same thing with the pillow. Double pillow cover for space saving. We are so happy with the futon and the pillow because they are so soft and comfy. We try to fold the futon to check whether it is possible to keep at the back. In case one day we have passengers joining our trip, we are so happy it fits perfectly at the back. Number 2. Window Rain Guards We realized how important this small thing when camping at Charita Beach. That night it was rainy and windy, so opening the window a bit will definitely allow water to get inside the car. Installing these rain guards will allow us to get some air in without getting the car interior wet. Number 3. Windshield Wipers During the trip to Charita Beach, we realized that we need to change the windshield wipers too to be able to see the road clearly during heavy rain. So we bought the wipers online and changed the old ones with these new ones. Number 4. The foundation for our drawers After filling all the storage drawers, we realized that the shelf legs leave marks on the carpet. So we found some unused pallets in front of the warehouse next to our apartment building. We took out all the nails, covered it with aluminum bubble to make it a bit prettier, place it below the shelf legs. And now, the weight distribution of the storage rack is more even. Hopefully, it won't leave marks on the carpet anymore. Number 5. The Ventilation As we will be traveling full-time, there will be days we will be staying at camping ground alone. During weekdays, usually no other people will be there. So sleeping with the windows half open might not be so wise. How to make sure we got enough oxygen? We added this exhaust fan and arranged added frame to fill the gap on the windows, complete with the mosquito net. Number 6. Window Blinds with Window When we feel safe to open the window halfway, we can use our DIY window blind. It has a mosquito net on it, so air can go through. We made it from the pattern, cutting, adding the window, sewing the fabric, all from scratch. Number 7. Rearrange things vertically In order to clear all floor area, we bought bungee cords to keep all the fly sheet poles and folding tables vertically. This really helps to make the camper van looks neat, and we feel so good not to move anything from the floor to prepare the bed like before. Now, everything got its own place, and we are so ready to start. That's all our preparation for road trip from Jakarta to Bali and Nusa Tenggara. Please follow us along by subscribing and activating the bell. We'll keep you posted with interesting things we find during the trip. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Is it easy to access your snacks? Hey, gampang sih, bapak mau makan apa ambil aja. <laughs> okay, what do you have here? Ini buat foto buat. Show. Nah, lihat. Plus eight. Plus eight things. Konsol nih. Konsol sini ada. Macam ni ni. Macam ni ada. Masker. Ya, masker. Jaga sehat. Good to go? Yeah, better ready to go now.